What is our fastest 60 to 130? Do y'all do y'all measure it on draggy or anything? Oh, yeah. Uh we draggy. can't disclose those numbers. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. What would, what would be like an average? <clears throat> like not your fastest one, right? I mean, so yeah, the we did I think we posted one the other day. It's not the fastest one, but uh, it, like I said, I think it does like a 36, 60 to 130. I, I know it does. It, yeah, that one we posted was a 36 and a 3 300 to 150, but that's the stock bottom end. Um zero one we're talking about, but it's got a 2650. So Makes about 24 pounds of boost. Damn. Thank you for watching Go Hard Podcast. I'm your host, Noel. Justin. Got my co-host here, Justin. Guys, he was driving through San Antonio, dropping off a car in Austin. He stopped by. He's like, hey, I need to get on the pod. I got to redeem myself from the last podcast. Yeah. Why? I, I was sick. Very yeah. sick. That's what happened. <laughs> Practically dead, you know, yeah. two days out of the ER. Yeah. But we're good now. And then he did a podcast, and then he was snorting. You might, you know, a lot of people were commenting that he was a... Uh, I don't know. Just, he had medical issues, but he's here. He's here to redeem himself. Stay away Thank from you, the Justin. dirty yeah. taco trucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I, it was him who commented that. It no, I'm just been. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. And uh, <laughs> guys, we're here. We're in shorts. Shirts. Shirts, shirts Texas. Right. Sorry. Sorry. We're in shirts, Texas. Shirts or shorts? I, shirts. <laughs> we're I, in shorts and shirts. I messaged Justin and I said, um... Hey, who got who builds like some badass Corvettes, right? Because we've been having a lot of Ford guys, and uh, he was like, "Man, you gotta go to you gotta hit up Lito, and gotta get him on the pod." So that guy's been asking for GM, more GM, you know, guys to come on and uh, just speak about the platform, and uh, yeah, let's give it up for Lito Performance. Yay! So Lito, Danny, yes sir, tell us a little bit about you. Tell us your background. Also, if you can introduce who you have to the left of you. Um, Danny with Lethal Performance, this is Sean. He's the tuner. He's been with me since, or with, together how long? Uh, since 2005, 06. Yeah. Scoot up just a little just bit. Just a little bit? Yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry. All right. All right. You said he's been with you since 05? 05. I, I thought it was 04, but I don't know. It's all right. 05. But you're the, close long time. So you're, on the key, you're behind the keyboard, right? Yep. Yes, sir. So you all the tuning on these... Badass CR1s and C6s. Absolutely. So if something goes wrong, they point the finger at you. Oh, it's always my fault. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about the right. The turn signal quits working, it's the tune. <laughs> it's just how it works. So tell us, uh, Danny, like sure. before, before <clears throat> Lethal. Yes, sir. What was your background in the high performance, if you had one? I, I didn't. I was driving a truck. Uh, oh. That's what I was doing. And uh, I was kind of just doing work. Um, you know, at my mom's house, out of her garage. Yeah. And uh, so, st <laughs> fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at me, man. But anyway, I, I started, you know, I started out of the garage um, and uh, we would just hit the meets, you know, wanted to go faster, work, working on my own car because I couldn't afford to pay anybody to do it. And uh, then I kind of had- What car was that though? It was, uh, mu I did Mustangs at first. Mustangs, Damn. yeah. He was a Fox body guy until yeah. he got gapped by a LS Camaro. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and then he switched. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, what made the switch? The Fox? Well, yeah, I mean. What'd you say? What motor was in the Fox? It was just a 302. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, Nothing crazy. This Nothing was a crazy. long yeah. time ago. Yeah. yeah. We Many still had ago. dial up. Yeah. <laughs> so. He, Where doesn't, were the, he doesn't know what that is. Yeah, I do. Oh, my God. We discussed this last time. <laughs> Where were the meets at around here? Uh, Nacogdoches, uh, 1604 area. Uh, where else, Sean? Anchor so, Marine. Anchor Marine. FPS. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Sean had a 69 Camaro and, uh, and a mullet. Bought it so, new. With a big block in it. It was really... <laughs> said he bought it. God damn. That was only and five it, years before I was born. Yeah. But anyway, he had a big block and... and uh, Back in the day, I actually just knew of him. I didn't, uh, it's not whenever we uh, linked up and he started working for me. But uh, so, yeah, that's where we started with Fox bodies and then ended up in an F body in um, early 2000s. And then um, had, we had one with a stroker in it, uh, some nitrous. It was mm -hmm. running like uh, low 10s, you know, 10 O's. We tried to get nines out of it, would never go nines. It was always 10 O's, you know how that goes. 
That was fast um, back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and th- th- this was when you were on LS1 Tech? I never really got on LS1 Tech. Mm. Um, but yeah, LS1 Tech uh, was pretty big back then. And um, Corvette, the Corvette Forum? Corvette Forum. Um, so we went from the F body um, to a C5 in 2003 or four, somewhere in there. What was it, Sean? Uh, around there, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, so we started with the C5, and uh, we ended up doing a, a stroker motor with a ECS supercharger kit and, um, you know, mostly street stuff. We would do some track stuff. Uh, in 2007, we took it to LS. It was, um, damn, what the hell was it called? LSX Shootout in Memphis. LSX Shootout in Memphis. Okay, gotcha. So we ran the street class over there, and it went 940s, you know, mid-150s back in 07 was pretty respectable. So, mm-hmm. um you know, we went from that um, to a C6 Z06 a couple of years later. Hell yeah. And then um, was trying to run nines with that thing. Same thing. Ten O's was the best we could get out of it. I'm, I'm sure if we would have tried a little more, could have gotten into the nines. It's all about 60 foot. And yeah. The power was there. It would mile an hour good. It just wouldn't get into the nines. <laughs> um, and then uh, I think in 2011 is when we started on the our first ZR1, C6 ZR1. And... Um, you know, when we first got into that, you know, there wasn't a lot of stuff out for them. So port the blower, do bolt-ons, um, probably make low to mid 700s back then, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but still got it. I think we got them into uh, mid nines, you know, mid nines as well. Um, and then, um, when was it? Uh, Sean, help me. <laughs> when was what? After you said after, after that, 2011. Uh, after yeah. the ZR1, yeah, I mean we pretty much, you know, it was one ZR1 after another. Yeah, mm. I want to change colors. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. I'm tired of this color. Let's go to this color. I know we were talking earlier, and I told you that the the ZR1s are still crazy high because they're super rare. Yes. And no matter the C6 or the C7, they're still crazy high. Yes. You know? And then uh, I was telling you that the colors, even the colors change. As far as pricing, oh yeah. So like the orange one and the jet was it jet stream blue. I think the yeah, supersonic jet. blue is also rare. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. get up in the hundreds easily. You know. Yep. But um, so how did y'all meet? Did you, were y'all um, always friends or? Like I said, I, I knew of him back in the day. Um, like I had you raced him shop. and beat him or? No, he beat me actually. I had a '69. <laughs> I had a '69 Camaro as well when I, when I first met him. But uh, <laughs> mine had a. Small block in it, 307 with a two barrel, and I was trying to race his big block, and he beat, he did beat me, of course. Yeah. But, um, and uh, but no, he he was working for another shop, and that shop ended up uh, closing down, and I was looking to relocate at that time, and uh, he called me to let me know, hey, you know, we're closing down, um, we're, this place is going to be for rent, you know, just letting you know, it had a dyno that was already in ground, so. We, I didn't have a dyno at that time. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I asked him, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do from here? And he was like, nothing. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't remember if you're going to go back to the dealer. He worked for Chevrolet for years before that, prior oh, to nice. that. And um, so I picked him up, you know, we worked something out. And that's when uh, all the madness started, basically. From there on out, it was pretty crazy. But um you know, we went, uh, like I said, we stuck with the C6 platform for a long time. We still do. Oh, we could tell. You know, yeah. Still. I was telling uh, Justin, <laughs> his whole place is filled with C6s, you know. Yeah. Rarely C7s. Yeah. Dusty time capsule. So, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. like C7s, pretty. too. Yeah. Yeah, we do. I mean, we We're, just don't, in, in San Antonio, we really don't get that many C7s, but we do get them, like Sean said, it just depends on, you know, what the time frame yeah. is. Uh, just so happen to have a ton of C6s and right now. And you can't see it here, but he owns a C7. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I have a C7 ZR1 as well. Yeah, damn. damn. Real king. Yeah. 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 Daddy. Yeah, but. <laughs> <clears throat> he never brings it out, though. Yeah. And it's blue. I don't think I've ever actually seen it. I've seen it. Damn. I rode in it. So how long have you been a, how long were you a GM tech? About seven and a half years, give or take. Okay, nice. And you brought... Most obviously, you brought most of that knowledge. So, oh, damn, that's crazy. I brought. <laughs> I worked for GM for eight years. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. And I was a Corvette tech. Yeah. Yep, I was too. And now we're. Yeah. Damn, and now they're on the podcast. What a time to be. Lost your next twin. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> I'm the older brother he never wanted. <laughs> I don't like my older brother, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's actually helpful because you understand a lot more about the electronic workings of mm. GM stuff. Yeah. But like, tr like as far as troubleshooting? Yeah. Like the... Troubleshooting, the even the communication protocols on the computers, all of that, it, yeah. it all helps. Yeah. Having an understanding of how a motor works, what's going on inside there is very helpful in tuning. If you don't know what's going on, you really yeah. need to put the laptop away. <clears throat> and... so, you're, so what you're saying is, if you don't have an understanding of the mechanical of the engine trans and div, you shouldn't, t you shouldn't tune? That's what you're yeah, that's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was very surprised to see there's a lot of tuners that I've met that don't know really anything about how the engine works and all. So, and I'm like, man, so how do you how do you kind of figure it out? And there's, you know, we just had some time until it stops making power. I'm like, but how do you know, you know, like what's going on? You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Transmission tuning, same thing. You know, I didn't actually start getting really good with the transmission stuff until I started building them and then seeing the wear patterns and seeing what was going on. And so having the GM background, I think really helps too, because you know, we had to deal with all that stuff and we got to see every part of it. So using that and bringing that into your tuning definitely makes a, I think it gives you a level up. Yeah. <clears throat> We're never going to touch more on the, on the tuning side, but um, if we could go back to what we told you, what I asked you, um, yes, sir. the first, was that your first place or was it, was this your first place or second? No. No, this is actually, <laughs> we've moved quite a bit, man. Mm -hmm. um, so this is like the fifth or sixth location. Damn, we're talking six. About six. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. We had, our first place was actually right down the street, less than a mile from here. And then our second to last place was one street over. So, yeah. So we've been in the same area. It's yeah. Just, Obviously, you have a bunch of Corvettes here, right? Yes, sir. Are you like one of the head honchos for Corvettes in Texas? I mean, I, I would like to hope so. I mean, we do, we do a ton of them. You know, they get, we get them from all over the place. You know, I think we have a, we got a ZR1 back here from North Carolina that we're doing. Um, Damn. So, and definitely from all over Texas as well, out of state. Um, we've, been, we've been doing them, like I said, for a while. We've, we have 11 here now. We probably, I would say probably have, do the most ZR1s, I would think, as far as ZR1s, but. Yeah. Um, most knowledge um, with them, but uh, I know there's some pretty, you know, tough competition in Texas as well, you know, so. Like who? Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, we, um, we, 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 that guy. we, we, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so we run on the street a lot. Um, we don't really don't do a whole lot of track stuff. They shut the track down here. So we go, you know, we try to do track stuff when we go out of town, but. Uh, when we go to Dallas or Houston, uh, mainly in Dallas, uh, AMP has some pretty fast vets, you know, so we, we've been running with uh, some of them. Trying to think who else, man. Um, pretty much wherever we we go. Yeah, you know, all the to... street racing takes place south of the border. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we would never Fully do legal. that on our Texas highways. Fully legal. Fully yeah. legal. <laughs> so when you're building a car, like you said right now, mm -hmm. you mostly do street racing, and, yes. you know, because the drag just closed down. Yep. Do you build them to hook on the street? We're we're trying to get or... them to hook. You know, we. Even like some of the cars that we have, um, like we run Pro AFI uh, systems, has traction control and stuff built in. But even with that, we try to get the car to hook the best that we can, you know, without using the Pro AFI because it'll hook, but it slows the car down as you know with the traction control system activated. Mm. So I think um, they're the first uh, first ZR ones I've ever seen wheelie at the track. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm like, 
that, that is that an auto? I swap it. <laughs> Pull back around. I'm like, oh, that's a that's a stick. That yeah. was back. Uh, man, what was it? The the race they used to put on all the time over there at Houston. Oh, the Quick Thirty. Quick Thirty. <clears throat> the Quick Thirty. Yeah, how Mars. I think stuff. that's the first time I ever seen, and it was one of y'all's cars. I ever seen one do a wheelie. I was like. I need that in my life. <laughs> then the C7 came out, you know. Yeah. Uh, he changed shit. Changed his mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, so on the ZR1, do you prefer to keep it stick or do you do y'all change them to auto? Uh, I had an auto, an auto one back in the day, but I kind of went in a completely different direction with it. Got rid of the LS9. It had a 427 with a single turbo uh, back in, I think, 2016, roughly. Um, and it had a turbo 400 in it from RPM. It went eight O's at like 185. Uh, it was set up, it was mainly set up for a half mile, but we did take it to the track. Mm. So it had a 3.0 gear with a very tight converter. Um, and that's the only one that we've ever had that was auto. Okay. Um, we try to keep them stick. Why? I'm get, well, I really like uh, you know, the manual transmission. Um, the gearing on, on the ZR1 is pretty long uh, with the 342 gear, you know, you have to run a, shorter tire. Um, it's really hard to get out of the hole, but it works well. Um, and uh, I'm getting older now, man. So I, I, we're trying to do, Justin had put us in contact with somebody. We wanted to do an eight speed auto in one. Um, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but you know, we're looking at maybe doing That'd something. That'd be crazy. Like that. no, it's going to happen. Yeah. And who's that, Justin? I think that was what, Sean. Yes. Yeah. Sean oh. Hamilton. Yeah. That's the same guy doing the 10 speed. For uh, the, Wendy's car for the V2? The V, yeah. Yeah. Down, that's about us. Yeah. So, be different, you know. Um, we we held a couple records at, you know, one time with the six-speed. And I feel like, I mean, we definitely, we're building a few here that, you know, want to come out later this year, hopefully. And um, hopefully get close to what the record is now. So What is the record now? Right now, Kong said it. I think it's 850. Oh, like that's right. I mean, the thing is fast, man. Yeah, Kong, insane. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have so, to go to Maryland, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that still in a traditional manual? Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Like the H or like the... It's a... From what I know, it's a factory uh, six-speed. Damn. Yeah. So... But, that's uh, moving. Yep. Very fast. <clears> so. And Kong is the one who ports the blowers for those that are watching that maybe... Yes. Yeah. He ports the blowers. Yeah. Um, he offers a lot of parts that we use on these cars as well. Yeah. I think he was the first one to come out with the head stud kit and everything for the LS9, right? Yeah, the correct head stud kit, yes. Right, right. Yeah, ARP makes it for him, but yeah, uh, he was for Damn. sure. Yep. Got to get Kong on. Yep. Getting Kong in the trunk, you know? <laughs> Call him up. Call him up, great. Yes, sir. Do you know Kong? Of course I do. I know every bug. <laughs> <laughs> told you that. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to stop doubting, you know? If I, if I gotta call somebody, <laughs> you just call fucking like Justin. <laughs> God. That's what happens when you travel around. I know, right? For, forever. This dude is traveling like crazy, though, for real. I like to meet people. Yeah. See, so yeah, I found my brother. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, man. See? I told you. And I only travel to New Braunfels. <laughs> Occasionally Houston, but that's yeah. as far as I'm going. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> now, that's awesome. So, um, after 2011, from doing the ZR1, mm -hmm. What came after that? What do you we, we had um, some Zio, like twin turbo Z06s in between there. Mm. Um, and uh, what else, Sean? Uh, F1X Z06. And F1X, yeah. We never, we never got to the sevens with them, but we got eight, eight O's, you know, eight O's every time. So, really? Yeah, yeah, eight O's with those. Um, so one of them is actually behind us here. It's a red Z06. It's been sitting since 2016 because uh, the, the motor blew back then, threw a rod at a track rental in Houston, and um, it, he just let it sit till, till now. So we're bringing it back out, and his goal is to run, you know, 750s or faster with it, you know, when it comes out. So uh, twin turbo uh, Z06. So, Damn. Yes, sir. I heard a rumor he wanted to make it a daily driver again. I guess it just depends on what underwear he has on, so... I figured you'd change his mind. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to say, Justin? <laughs> are you going to say something? I'm going to hold that. Let's keep going. <laughs> That's coming for later. Are you, are you trying to say, like, oh, good luck or something? Mm -mm. Or They'll get it. Oh. I got faith in him. Yep. The owner. He's a great guy. Oh, I like okay. him a lot. It's Justin's BFF. 
So what's what's one of your craziest builds you build here? Um, I I'd say probably the twin turbo, you know, twin turbo uh, Z06s or you know turbo ZR1 mm -hmm. would be one of our craziest ones. We he's always trying to talk me into doing a full race car, and I just I don't know why I don't want to. He's he's like man. Fuck this shit. Let's just do safety. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm as I'm getting older, I'm, he's starting to talk me into it. It'll so. be street legal. But um, but will it have air conditioning? No. <laughs> In Texas, yes. No. Okay. Fair enough. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah. Um, it the, would uh, just be fun to try this kind of power and something with a real chassis. Mm. Yeah. Not just an IRS vet with the mag ride. Yeah. 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 Know? Yeah. Or even a coilover. I mean, it's, it's been, you know, done before, time and time before. So, like I said, he's, he's really leaning to do a, a race car, like a full, you know, dedicated race car. So maybe could, we'll... Yeah. Could you daily drive a twin turbo Z06? You can, but honestly, man, I wouldn't want to. Why? I mean, because the transmissions that we normally... Well, if it's a manual one, it, they drive fine, no problem. Yeah. But uh, the ones that we do, they have a three-speed in it, you know, turbo 400 with a nine-inch and... Uh, RPMs cruising down the road are, you know, probably 3,500 plus at 70 miles an hour. You know? So, I, I mean, you can do it. It's just, yeah. it's not fun. Uh, and yeah. So, unless, you know, you can get something else, uh, another different trans in there. Uh, yeah. We were just talking about it earlier. Just don't diff. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to, uh, I was talking to Justin about it earlier. We wanted to use a 4080 at one time, but RPM, uh, they said that it, they don't recommend it past 1400, you know, so that was kind of the limit, uh, 1400 wheel, so. On the 480s? On the 480. <clears throat> that they oh, did. Yes, sir. I thought they held more power than this. That's, that's all they, they told us they limited yeah. when we were, we built a 2000 horse vet a long time ago, and we bought the 480, and they were like, the customer, you know, changed his mind, wanted to make more power, and they were like, yeah, that's, that's not going to work past 14. I thought they held more power when you went to a manual valve body. I don't know. They told us to go to a oh, sure. Turbo 400, and that's what we did. Mm. Mm. So four, no four-speed, straight three-speed. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, to hold that type of power and, and do what we want to yeah. do, that's, that's what we're using yeah. right now. Um, anything coming out here hot on the streets, like any, um, like, uh, actual racing cars that are, like, coming out here? Out of the shop? Out of the shop, um... At this time, not like, oh, in 2016, they started the build, but they haven't. Oh, yeah. So we have uh, like the red one we talked about. That'll yeah. be. JP. What's that? What'd you say? JP. Yeah. That I mean, we boy. have. Yeah. He's that out there fast. trying to cap everybody. Oh, right is now. that what? I'm sorry, crack man. Baby. I misunderstood the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crack Baby is well known. That, that, I mean, that one's on the streets. Uh, we have a couple of white ones. And then uh, we have the, the um, Jetstream Blue Z06 behind us that's twin turbo. Sick. Um, you know, that's going to be on the streets here in, in about a month or so. And then the red Z06, um, like Sean said, if he decides to go through it, but I'm pretty sure he is. That, that yeah. one will be, um, that one will be pretty nice. So There's one of them coyotes um, over there on the dyno that might hurt some feelings too. Yeah. And then um, what else? I mean, we, we have a few other ZR1s, you know, that we're building that will definitely be on the streets, like I said. Want to, want to. Uh, get some work in and, and also run at the track. So. so like for future customers or, you know, also for my channel, mm -hmm. if you can tell us exactly what I do here from dropping off your car to picking it up, if you can just explain the whole nine yard. I mean, basically we can do everything. You know, if you drop the car off stock, um, you can pick it up, you know, race ready. You know, mm -hmm. we can, we do everything in house, um, build it, uh, tune it, uh, we have to street test them, of course, you know, street test them. Um, we How's that like? How's that? That's fun. I mean, the, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The, the traffic, you know, the traffic around here is pretty hard. So we have to go early in the morning to, to test them, you know. That was uh, fun when I was younger. He's in the passenger seat, so he's always screaming. Well, not, he doesn't really <laughs> scream. But I just you know, look down at the laptop and ignore what's going on around me because it's yeah. easier that way. Do you do the chill no. out? He grabs the door yeah. handle, and then I know, okay, it's like, yeah. you know, time to... He grabs the door handle? Yep. I'll start downshifting that thing. Okay, down, the door handle's going to pop off. Hey, that's <laughs> a good idea. I never thought about that. I did that to a guy that wouldn't stop for our food. <laughs> he, was, he was like, he's like, I'm not stopping. I'm like, you're stopping. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not stopping. I'm like, third, second, first. Right here. <laughs> we'll go eat here. <laughs> it worked. He didn't have a choice. Hey, I've... Tell customers when I have to ride with them now, if you do anything stupid, I'm going to punch you and get out and walk. 
Damn. Oh, I don't even ride with people no more. Mm, it's yeah, he that. doesn't. He won't. Some people he will, but for the most part, he won't either. I've been down in the median more times than I can count. <laughs> well, they all I had to get out and fist fight a guy in the median for, for acting, you know, wanting to show me how cool his car was. Yes, that's like, it. Dude, I, I, I drive in this stuff and faster stuff every day. Every day. Yeah. I, you don't, you're, it's not going to be cool. Your cam yeah. only LS2 is not going to, it's not going to do it for me. <laughs> yeah. What if it was a cam only LT? If it was cam only LT, absolutely. Okay. Because oh, yeah, that actually makes power. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. Oh, I know we got some sensitive people on that one. <laughs> my hey, LS. I know, right? The LTs impress me. I like them. They're yeah. fun. LT or LS? I mean, I do like the LTs. You know, like I was telling Justin, uh, you know, we're kind of, and I've told him before, you know, we're kind of late to it because just where we're at, honestly, man, there's not a lot of, I think, with what maybe in the last two years, Sean, we're starting to get a lot more customers with LTs. So uh, mainly the Camaros, you know, we do C7s as well. Um, but I mean, they are impressive, man. You can't, you know, it takes an LS7 to make 600 wheel and you can make 600 wheel easily with one of those, you know, with a good, nice, you know, decent mild heads and cam setup. So, yeah. Um, so I, I do like them. Yeah, for sure. Which one do you like the most though? Um, Dun, dun, dun. I like the LS9 because you're deviating from. The... I like the LS9 just because. Damn. I mean, it's man. That thing can take a freaking beating, dude. I mean, we've made you know 1,300 horsepower. Lt4s. With them. What's that? They'll take 1,400 all day. Man, maybe all day, baby. I, maybe. Not with that I mean, stock blower, though. we just did Ooh. one. We did one that made 1,100 through an auto, and, and I was I was scared for it to be honest with you, man. I was <laughs> I don't know why I was just it, you, it did have it. Have you no seen problem. what's in my car? What's that? You, you know what's in my car? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's just rods and pistons. I know, but I mean, you know. This one was I just, completely I, I guess it's it. just because when the C7s first came out, um, a few of them, uh, they were stock. They came to get like super, I think we did superchargers or something, and we would pull the pan, you know, um, just to tap them so that the debris doesn't go in there. You found the center main bearing piece in there? No, the side, the side skirts on a couple of them. Broke they break. They, they were stock, you know. So, I mean, ever since then, I guess I was kind of like, oh, shit. Mm. But, they did make the, even the newer LT truck ones, the pistons are so thin that you, you put any boost to them and they're broken. broken. Yeah. 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 But, you know, and to clear something up, because I did say, you know, in a, in a, you know, the stock motor thing, yeah. you know, LTs, they'll in a make seven, 750 with a stock bottom end. And people were like, oh my God, you know, you know, you said the LS won't make it. It will, but it won't make those numbers yeah. in a, yeah. with boost, you know, obviously you can grab any LS and put a bunch of boost to it and it's going to hold. Yeah. So they, they were kings of that, but that was probably, you know, when GM was, had a little more money and they actually put the rest of the piston in there. <laughs> so Why they, do you did, they did go with the LT4, but you know, yeah. they just, for some reason they were like, you know, I'm going to put half of the main bearing in there Yeah. and then just slide the other pieces in and. They fall out. Yeah. Why do you say LS9? No, I'm just, you ask me, you know, the LS9, I know can, you know, like I said, we've pushed them to 1300 wheel before uh, with, you know, nitrous on top of them. Uh, one was a turbo one. Um, that, that feels a little bit easier than boost and nitrous, you know, but um, in stock form, you know, so we still have one, um, which is Gus's car, you know, it, it makes 11 and some change, you know, and it's a stock, you know, Completely stock motor. Um, what is stock motor to you? Well, stock bottom in, I guess. Okay. You know, it's, it's got heads and cam, but you know the pan's never been off the car, um, and uh, it's you know full bolt boltons, of course. But mm -hmm. you know it, it it runs like you know mid threes, sixty to one thirty now, and you know low threes, hundred to one fifty, which is pretty respectable for something like that. You know. Damn. Yeah. But and after one fifty, yeah. <laughs> it's had a very Come tough on. life too. Yeah, it's had a very tough life. Yeah. Um, the, the titanium it, 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 rods are, are another really cool point yes. that I think they, the LT should have gotten. Yeah. But the titanium rods do make the, the engine rev a lot better, and it just, so just they, makes an overall better experience, I think. Yeah. Do they come with titanium rods? Yes. They come they with titanium. They caps? I, th I believe they are, yes. They, they are, caps? yeah, and, and they're even doweled, right? So, mm -hmm. um, and, and the uh, pistons? They've got oil squirters. It's got, got a forged piston from the factory. Um, it doesn't use a half inch stud, but it's a 12 millimeter stud, same as the LT. Um, so it's, it's bigger than the 11 millimeter standard GM stuff that yeah. they were using for that 
you know, like a regular C6 or mm -hmm. Z06 or whatever, so. And they come six bolt ready? Yes. Damn. Oh, no, no, no. Six mm -hmm. bolt head, uh, for the head, no. There's still a four bolt setup. Um, I thought you meant the mains, they're all, they're all six bolt, but well, if you count the side caps or whatever, but um, yeah, it's a four bolt with a 12, mil uh, 12 millimeter head stud, so. Um, like and I said, a better casting block. Yep. Yeah. Better, casting better block. crank. Yep. I mean, it was it was a. It was a GM awesome did mother. really good on that one. Yeah. Yes. But they yeah. only made it for a really short time. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like the you real. You can't game. even order them from the dealer. It's horrible. And it's crazy expensive, right? The LS9. Yeah. Yeah. What's a short block on that thing? Thirteen thousand. Um. Now I don't even know, man. I, I think you can get a long block for eleven, ten or eleven somewhere in there for a long block, but. That's actually not I mean, a bad deal then, never mind. Take yeah, that back. Yeah. <laughs> but then get a LS9 and put in a C7. <laughs> Man, there's, <laughs> there's no power steering. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no power steering pump bracket available for them. What do you need that for? We That's have electric, true. boogie woogie. Yeah. Damn. I'm with you on that one. I know, I can turn my car off while I'm trying to coast home at night, and the electric steering stays working until the car stops. Mm. Good, for, good for them, you know, sneaky things. Are you, you trying do. to be considerate to your neighbors? <laughs> Call it what you want. Hey, Wendy's over there looking at you like, what are you doing? Oh, I can't. <laughs> there ain't no sneaking with her. She's with me everywhere. <laughs> so do you think that's uh, GM's best block? I mean, I, I know, you know, what we've pushed, what we've, uh, pushed them to. Yeah. And, you know, possibly, I mean... What do you think, Sean? They're up there. I mean, yeah. for the technology in that time period. Right, 2011. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 2009 yeah. Yeah, was the first year, so. What, what do you think, Justin? Ooh. It's got dialed mains, so unfortunately, I think it's the best block they have. Yeah. Damn. Not best for power potential, but best block, for sure. I don't know why they didn't carry over the pin mains. Yeah. They should have done that, and the oil squirt is under the pistons. I don't know about that. <laughs> so what about, what about for power? It helps. I mean, they hold the power, but I, I feel like they hold the same power an LT holds, LT. but LT4. Got to be careful with that, because LT1 is crap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, for, for holding power, I don't have enough fingers and toes for how many 1,400 horsepower LTs I've done, yeah. stock motor, um, mostly with pro chargers, things like that about 1200 on a stock blower, but you've been over that with the LS9, right? Yeah. Yeah, usually about 1200 on like a PD blower, the LT4 is starting to get a little hairy because yeah. of the rods. And then when they go, I've only ever had one let go and I can tell you, because that rod's real hardened, it's like a hardened steel, I guess. Yeah. If it doesn't bend and it breaks, it is, it is a grenade. Yeah. Only one I've ever had fail and it, it took out everything. I mean, you could see every piston underneath it. Yeah. So I'd say, you know, for what and what, I think it's a, it's a killer setup. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. So LS9, huh? LS9 is the way to go. I mean, it's, it's definitely up there, man, for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. What about the, the blower progression on the 2300? So like the 1900s, you know, LSA stuff. Yep. Yeah, you know, we started out, the port and blowers, I mean, for the first two or three years, we didn't even believe in ported blowers because we were going faster than all of the guys that had them, yep. you know? And then like 20, 30 horsepower was kind of common. And then we saw anywhere upwards of like 70, 80 horsepower. Yeah. So how was, but I didn't see a lot of the 2300 progression. Um, like I said, when we started on them, uh, they didn't need, you know, <clears throat> you could port it. I think lean filter had a snout. Um, they didn't have throttle bodies big enough. So it was still the stock throttle body that you would run. Cold airs, you know, you could custom make a, it as big of cold airs if you want, but um, four inch, I think, was the largest at the time. So, because uh, the radiator, right? That made a big problem. Um, yeah, I mean, to, to get something in there is mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. But um, so once, uh, once they started, you know, porting the, the I'm sorry, porting the, the snout and the blower with the larger throttle bodies and larger cold air, that's when it was kind of a game changer, you know. What kind of power are y'all seeing now, average? Um, like a port I mean, blower? with a 2300 versus a 2650, you can still make well over 1,000 with a 2300, you know, with the correct heads and cam setup. So, um, how much uh, is that? Over 1,000 wheel to the tires, you know, with the 2300. So, yeah. 
Damn. And that was, you know, kind of unheard of, uh, even th maybe four years ago, you know? So, um, Kong does a epoxy port on the 2300 um, that picked up, you know, probably like a, another 40. Is he guys good? Couldn't tell him to wait. Good. Huh? I'm gonna go tell him? Like, hey, 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 back that way. Oh, man. All right, you're good. Yeah, so, um, you know, with that epoxy port, they pick up like another, you know, probably 40. I think maybe we've seen as high as 50, you know. Damn. Um, and like I said, over 1,000 will is pretty good for a 2300, you know. Um, the 2650, they don't pick up much more. Um, I guess, well, I shouldn't say that, but I mean, you pick up maybe a hundred more, you know, with the with the correct combination. But the torque is absolutely insane. Yeah, it's modified diesel numbers, yeah. <laughs> like neck and neck. A, yeah, a lot of that is um, the amount of boost that the twenty six fifty makes. You know, like the one that we're that's running in the threes. It's it makes like probably twenty four pounds, so it's quite a bit versus like a twenty three hundred. They're 21, 22 pounds, somewhere in there, you know. It, it moves a lot more air, the 2650, so. Um, they make, like a 60 to 130, what I've seen, like on a um, 2300, mm -hmm. is, is probably neck and neck with a, a 2650, but the 150, I, I feel like the 2650 outshines the 2300, so. Yeah, it, it, it seemed like when they did the 23 and the 2650, um, you know, I've seen a lot of them running each other, things like that. And, mm -hmm. It, for the beginning part, it almost looked like the 2650 was kind of going backwards from yeah. the 2300s because the 2300s were outrunning them. Yeah. And I think maybe recently that's changed a little bit, but. I think a lot of that was probably pulley combos, <clears throat> um, cooling as well. Like the 2650 gener generated a lot more heat. Um, so there's, you know, people came out with different bricks, lids, stuff like that to help control that. And like I said, the correct pulley combination really helps because, um, you know, if, if you don't have the right upper and the right lower, it's not going to make, you know, what you think. Or you can't just buy one bolted on and, and go and expect it to make, you know, 11, 1200 horsepower. Well, actually, I think we've, the highest we've seen on a 2650 on a stock motor was like 1170. Let's say for those out there watching, right, and they want to say 1000 horsepower C6, mm -hmm. what would be your, your go-to combination for it? For like a, a just a base C6 or Z06 mm. or what do you... Let's let's go with the um, damn because I feel like it's easy to get that on zero one right. For the most part, yeah. Now, yes. So let's go with so, let's go with um, let's go with LS three. Like an LS three, um, I mean, of course, you know, like you're talking like stroker. Or, yeah, it's yeah. easier to go stroker. Um, just because you would want to do you know forged pistons, good rods and stuff, and at that point it's probably better just to put a stroker in it, mm. um, and then. Uh, YSI head unit will get, is what we normally use to get 1,000. Um, make about 18 pounds of boost, we'll get about 1,000, 17, 18 pounds. Um, and uh, yeah, that's really all you need. Hmm. So. Why wouldn't you use the 2300? Well, um, he just asked me like if a C6 came in. I uh, know, no, I was just saying, but you, so you, you would prefer to do it with the YSI or would you prefer to do it with a 23? Well, if you could get a complete ZR1 kit, then the 23, you know, it, that thing hits like a big block, you know, it's everything right away on the hit. That's why they're so quick, you know. They still make good power up top. Um, but they don't, like Sean said, they don't make the power steering systems for it. We just did a conversion on one of these cars over here, a full ZR1 conversion, and uh, we had to make, we made a pa the power steering work, but we had to kind of do, you know, design it ourselves. So we're not fully finished with that had some people calling about it because they want to do i guess the zr1 conversions but there's no power steering so uh, that's, that's the right. biggest thing because the pump at all is different all yes the, all the pulley it's an 11 rib different. setup yep. yep right yep okay that makes sense why that wouldn't be as feasible but the 2650 can it run on uh i guess kind of like an lsa style belt i guess you couldn't right there's no option out there i mean <clears> that's an eight rib versus an 11 rib and when you start pushing them even with the 11 rib setup we have a you know 
some belt slippage, you know. Damn. If it's, you know. Tell Kong start <laughs> making power steering pumps. If it's, <laughs> what are you doing, Greg? Get it together, bud. I mean, you, you got can, this. You can short belt it and bypass the power steering, but most people aren't going to want to drive with no power Put steering. Put a C7 electric rack in it? Yeah. Damn. Or, yeah. or, or do something like that would be nice, yeah. <laughs> He's thinking over there. That guy's thinking. He's thinking of the CAN bus and the electronics. That's, that's exactly gonna take what, what that I was work. thinking about. Yeah. Okay, it's got to have steering inputs. <sighs> Do they have those, or are you just you just naming some shit? What? Like, are people running those, or are you just naming some shit? No, no, I was just saying to run the, oh. to run the steering, you'd have to have the CAN bus and everything mm. talking to it, yeah, and yes. its own module. Yeah. Or you could just buy a C7. <laughs> 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 so, like, uh, what would that run as far as price wise? Price wise to to get All you to a thousand horsepower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say probably because you would need fuel system. You know, motor, clutch. Injectors. You're talking like if it were a stock setup. Yeah, stock car, yeah. I'd say probably 50000 Okay. Somewhere in there, you know. <laughs> Cheaper than I thought. Yeah. That might 4, be on the low side, but, you know. And they can daily shit. drive it? Can they daily? You can daily drive it, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's comfortable? You're going to daily drive it comfortably? I mean, the biggest thing where we're at right now, I mean, you know, it's... I think the other day was like 101 and... And the heat index was like 117, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, so you, you made I mean, it late. Yeah. I watched my, my temperature on my truck go from 95 to 105. Yeah. I was like, oh, man, where are we going? So you could, man, but, I mean, you know, you're going to have to upgrade the radiator, the fans. You know, now you have like an air, you have an air, air intercooler in front of that blocking, you know, the airflow. So, um, like I said, you can, but uh, I wouldn't recommend you know, racing it at those temperatures, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Around here anyway, so. Yeah. But, uh. What, what about like a twin turbo setup on a C6? Can you daily drive that? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've done a few, uh, turbo technologies used to make a turbo kit that was an easy, you know, bolt on. It had cast manifolds, uh, 62 millimeter turbos. And, uh, I think we even made like 1300 on one of those, you know, but, um, so you can daily drive it, no problem. They drive fine. Um, Is that the no. one that they uh, they had it in the fender? No, that's that was, uh, UPP. That was UPP, the one we were talking about earlier. No, yeah. no it's somebody else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I've the, seen that one. Yeah, the Turbo Technologies is the one that... Um, i seen the fender one you're talking about. Yeah. It goes like, they have to take the it's fender off It's got like a coating it. on it, looks like a little armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best I can describe it. I mean, yeah. find a picture later, you'll, under, you'll be like, oh, it's an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought UPP yeah, was. I thought it was the, a a something. The or, Fender ones, is, I thought was UPP. Yeah, no, it's I, a a something. UPP was that top mount one that cooks your brake fluid. No, uh, UPP went through the fenders and was mounted kind of in front of the doors and the fenders, yep. and the yeah. plumbing was everywhere. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah, the, worked, the turbo right? technology. The turbo's mounted right off the turbos. I mean, right off the manifold, sorry. Yeah, turbo <laughs> so, turbo. So, short, real short manifold in the turbo, you know. Um, I them. They're a bitch to put in, but they work really well. Yeah. So. Fucking tight. It's a tight fit, right? Very, very. Fit good. like a glove. <laughs> yeah, putting them on is no joke. You got excited. <laughs> a little bit. Pause. What about the, uh, the rear mount turbo ZR1 they had forever? Uh, I think Pro Speed had it or BTR had They're it. They're building or, another one right now. Yeah, my kind of people. Um, so <laughs> what happened with that? Why does nobody replicate that? Because that car seemed like it was pretty fast. I had thought they had uh, quite a few issues when they first came out with it. Um, that was the blower the guy, being a restriction. The guy that originally uh, put, did the build, he sold it. And then I think Thule and them were the ones that kind of lined it out. Yeah, they and took it the ended blower up going off. pretty fast. Is that what they did? Yeah. Okay. I don't. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know what happened after that. I think he said around like eleven hundred something or twelve hundred. They were having a lot of trouble with the blower, uh, trying to feed through it. Okay. And they ended up removing it and started making a bunch more power. But I didn't follow it that well. So, so they had the rear mount turbos on. Yeah. It? And then the blower at the back. Damn. Yeah. It was. It was pretty nasty. They had some really cool videos of it. Yeah. Well, I believe they are <clears throat> in building another one. I've. Seen a bunch yes, of pictures I, of I it. saw some pictures of it. They are doing another one right now. I just thought it was With weird a, that nobody really does that because there's so much room in the back. Yeah. And I know people, you know, they think the rear mount turbos don't spool, but they do. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if you set it up right, they, they absolutely they work. They do, yes. but, but what? I don't like them. Well, that's a the lag, lot of... That's what nitrous is for. That's a lot of plumbing. 
it, if you wrap the exhaust and keep it hot, they'll spool quick. But yeah. put that armadillo. You're still on. dealing with a lot of charge pipe going from one end of the car to the other. It just kind of makes for a bigger headache than turbo. But isn't that better cooling from the ambient air as the charge pipe's going forward? Oh yeah. Armadillo coating. Yep. I'm gonna find out what that's called. I'll tell you. <laughs> it's a thing. They do it on headers too. We'll, we'll we'll put the. It looks like foil. We'll put the full name right here. Yeah, yeah. We'll put the it's add that a, add that in. Yeah. Armadillos are. Armadillos. <laughs> So you see, you know, we're in Texas, man. You know, you see armadillos everywhere. So you, that, that's actually a good point. I, I didn't even think about it that way. Not being able to keep enough heat in the exhaust kind of gives it. But then again, nitrous. Never we mind. used to mess with the rear mounted turbos on several cars. And it seemed like if we put that fun to install header wrap that gets fiberglass and everything. Used armadillo. Spools a million times faster. I need to be sponsored by better. that. If somebody's building a car, I mean, a. Uh, uh, you know, Corvette, right? Mm -hmm. Would you recommend them to, and they, they want to keep a stock block, right? Because yep. they want to, you know, they want to carry the stock block crown, whatever. Would you rec recommend them to go with an LS3, LS7? Let's throw it in there, LS1 or LS9? On, can you repeat that again? I'm sorry, bro. If somebody wants to keep Thanks. a stock block yep. on their Corvette, right? Yep. <clears throat> not a, um, not a bit of block, not a LSX block. They want to keep a stock factory GM block. Would you recommend them LS1, 2, 3, 6, LS8, LS9, LS7? Like, which, which LS would you recommend them to, to keep NA to, or to boosted. hold power? Huh? NA or boosted? Boosted. Boosted. Yeah. Okay. So that's a game changer. I, I would say Is the it? LS9, yeah. Well, hold on. Tell, can you tell us? Okay, if you're going to go NA, the LS7. Okay. Fun as can be, but they use really thin cylinder walls, so boost, you're going to want a different block. Which is? For boost, I would say the LS9. Yeah. 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 Which Why? also has the Why? all four cylinders, yeah, yeah. though, right? Yeah. I mean, like, you explain, uh, like I like said. Like the LS7, LSA stuff. That what's offset it? bore, mm -hmm. the LS9s have yeah. that, too. Yeah. I, I, I think, you know, just because you're saying in stock form, right, with the, the crank, the rods. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I mean, just that rotating. Um, yeah. The, the larger uh, head studs, you know, for more clamping force. Um, and uh, I, I would just do the LS9. What are your thoughts nice. on the guys that take the titanium rods out? Um, you just give them a good smacking? Yeah, I mean, you know, like if we do a piston, we, we uh, just replace the piston and of course keep the titanium rod in the, in the crank. Is there a process I've heard that you could, like, you're supposed to send them off to have the coating checked or something on the rods? Yeah, there's a coating. Um, usually when we send them off to the engine builder, they'll inspect them and tell me whether the coating is rubbing off or not. You can send them off to get, reco I forgot the name of the company that uh, recoats uh, them. Pankle makes the rod, right? But I don't know who does the coating. Yeah, I don't. I'm what is the coating for? for? Man, that's actually a good question, man. <laughs> I'm just curious. That's because it's, it's, it's important. Question. I don't. I'm yeah, just I mean, um, it's like that non-stick cooking oil stuff. Crisco. <laughs> yeah, it keeps the oil from sticking to it. Yeah, Crisco, yeah. No, I have no idea. You know how I grew up. But how, how, how bad do the offset cylinders affect your, the LS9? Because in the LSA world, you know, the first CTSV we, we bought, we went mm -hmm. to do heads on it, and it had four cracked sleeves. And it was just the offset bore, you could see where it's thick on one side, thin on the other. Um, and when I went to select a block to do Wendy's twin turbo setup, you know, we went through four blocks from GM until we found one that actually had a concentric sleeve, yeah. and that thing holds 1,400 all day. Hmm. You know, so is that the similar I haven't issue? seen any issues with them. No. <clears throat> I don't so know. you don't have any sleeve issues at all? Mm -mm. I don't think we've ever had a sleeve issue on an LS9. Push yeah. them harder. Push <laughs> Damn. Put a little more at it, yeah. So only Justin's had an issue? That's why, I, you know, I think it's blasphemy. Crack Baby doesn't use nitrous. <laughs> How do you call a car Crack Baby and you don't spray it? Yeah, that's kind it of might Don't start with, he doesn't need it. I don't it no, it might be it there doesn't one day. need it. Stop it. I'll that turn my shot up nasty. next time. Yeah. Did y'all race through it? We might have. So what happened? He got me. He's a psycho. He tried racing me in the rain. Yeah. Damn. That was dumb. Dead serious. I was like, I was like, no, hold. And he's like, go. I'm like, bro, it's raining. So I went to. <laughs> what the hell? You know, gangster like that.
What can I say? Yeah. And he, he, was, he was dying for that race. Yeah, I saw the videos. He was dying for that race. I'm like, bro, chill. You're going to beat me. Made me look bad. What is he driving? He's, he's got the uh, crack baby. You know, famous. The red CR1. Their fastest CR1. I don't C care what they say. It's not their fastest? <laughs> Fast one I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. I know that. Yeah, it's up there, but it's not the fastest one. Yeah. Damn, you let a C6 beat you? It's crazy. <laughs> Once. Damn. He's going to hold that to the grave. That's okay. Because I beat the other one. What other one? He did beat the other one. What other the, one? The, white, the stock bottom end one that runs, uh, well, now it runs mid threes, but um, I think that night it was probably going like, what, 390, still probably 390s maybe? I don't know. What do you think? I feel like we shouldn't stick on the subject so we don't get <laughs> somebody mad at us. Okay. okay. <laughs> what is yeah. your, honestly, what is. the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Where's she at? <laughs> Be back six hours. Damn, six hours. <laughs> Shit. On what is a like um what is our fastest sixty to one thirty? Uh we Trendy. can't disclose those numbers. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> they do. What would, what would be like our average? <clears throat> like not your fastest one, right? I mean, so yeah, the we did I think we posted one the other day. It's not the fastest one, but uh, it, like I said, I think it does like a three six, sixty to one thirty. I, I know it does. Uh, yeah, that one we posted was a three six. In a three three hundred to one fifty, but that's the stock bottom end um, zero one we're talking about. But it's got a twenty six fifty, so makes about twenty four pounds of boost. Damn. So yeah. So sixty to one thirty is that? Damn. That's know. it's like a tenth slower than me. This fucking just. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Like, like, something we'll start faster. a pot without stirring a pot too hard. You know what I'm saying? What would, we, what would be faster? Like Stingrays. I told you this. <laughs> this guy. I mean, we do have one. Uh, we do have actually a couple that are faster, but damn. I mean, I don't really want to say right now. Yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. beat JP, so why do they got to bring him out? Is that, that's what yeah. you're saying? Just go ahead and say it. Turn our feelings. It's cool. No. <laughs> we can take <laughs> it. No. I, I Y'all can't take it, but we can take Justin's it. I know Justin's going to want revenge, so I got to. I'll spray that little Stingray till the rods come out. That's what I like to hear. Yolo. I'm lying. <laughs> I I'm like a sissy. <laughs> I even bought new pulleys, and, I, and my friend taught me how to put them on. <laughs> my friend taught me how to put them on. He's <laughs> I really did. <laughs> so y'all the second fastest year one, right? Because you said Kong was first. Yeah. Right, right, right now, right at, now at the track. Yeah, at the track, yeah. What about the street? Um, I, I'm pretty sure right now we have the fastest one. It's say it with confidence, sir. Okay, we we have the fastest one right well, now. I don't one think in Texas Kong's or fastest car could handle the heat down here. Mm. I mean, tight. we're getting to something. <laughs> fastest in the state or fastest in the country? Man, oof. stand I, on that. That would business. be hard to say. I mean, maybe, maybe in the country, maybe. Yeah. Damn. Put that foot down. Yeah. You got it. Yep. So. I think yeah, they do. They do build a lot of fucking crazy. If you don't here. believe it, come to San Antonio. Yeah. They'll try it. I give them that. Yeah. yeah. They'll pull up. Yeah. They might get got, but they'll pull up. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Like> Justin. Owner <laughs> <laughs> of Lethal. Yep. And you fucking drive the shit out of them. Yes, sir. That's fucking badass. You can't be the yeah. owner of this shop without being a gangster. I mean, you know, you have some that, that don't, you know? Oh, yeah. Just we're saying. not going to mention that name. <laughs> but you know what we're thinking. <laughs> you know. <laughs> People do uh -huh. complain about that, though. They, you, you know, they, they complain. Do? Yeah, well, they'll because I normally drive a lot. Of, I drive a lot of them, so people do complain. I, I just feel like if you're gonna, like, do you want to race this car or do you, or not? You know what I mean? Who? I, for me, I don't care who drives. Honestly, if I'm running a car, but yeah, some people do complain that uh, who's driving it. You know, so. So let you, sir, I want to ask you a question. When you're tuning a car, right? Do you prefer tuning on the dyno or on the street? Usually do both. Okay. Can you can you give us an explanation of? It's easier to do the wide open on the dyno, and get the drivability close, get the shift points close, and then take it out on the street to dial it in mm -hmm. all the way. Make sure that it's going to hit the shifts. It's going to run right. It's going to drive right. All the data is in line with what it should be. Mm -hmm. It's it's just tough with traffic sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. 
especially when you're trying to go through six, seven, eight years on an automatic. <laughs> when you set them on the dyno, how close are they from the dyno to the street? They're actually points? pretty dang close. Because I always see those guys that are like, listen to that 10-speed shift on their unloaded dyno as they're going through the gears, and I'm like, that one's loaded. It's borderline silly. Yeah. Right. Well, on the loaded dyno, that's why I was asking the difference. Yeah. I see it on the unloaded dynos, and I'm like, a little weird. So no, is, it, it gets them very close. It's <laughs> it's not a pleasant experience doing it on the dyno, going from a dead stop through six, seven gears. I don't like it, but it's safer and quicker than trying to do it on the street. That's fair. So on on an unloaded or a loaded dyno, is that because like the manufacturer, like DinoJet or something, um, or is that like different? That's a DinoJet, but it's got an eddy current okay. load on the side. It, big electromagnet train like brake, train basically. Brakes. Yeah. Okay. Like the hub dynos, that's all they are is two yeah. train brakes. So what they do on the DinoJet is they have a coupling link and they have another a train brake that you can add to it to simulate the load. Mm. That way, you know, gotcha. if we'll tune like I know on the CTSVs, you know, people go go to the dyno. And we'll dyno it, it'll make X amount of power, air fuel will be dead on, and we'll put it on the street, and it's lean as can be. Yep. Because they're not loaded. So when people are like, oh, it's not a loaded dyno, I'm like, yeah, you're wasting your time. But getting it close is yeah. definitely... That one's always loaded. Definitely a lot better. Yes, it's a, it's a time and um, time saver, and probably a keep me out of jail time saver, too. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Especially as fast as these cars are getting. It's, shirts cops don't play around. <laughs> When I started tuning 500 horsepower it was like big dog stuff. And now we're like, oh, it only makes 1,500? That's it? <laughs> oh, you want me to go test that on the service road? No problem. <laughs> it's, it's sad yeah. that like 1,000 horsepower is the norm now. It's just. It is. It's sad. I miss the 500 horsepower days. That was fun. Right. More affordable, more fun, less stress. Now it's like 500? Oh, yeah, I remember. That's what my grandma drives to bingo. It's just so my Escalade makes and it's stock. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What about uh, so on the C6? What is the biggest issues for as far as traction wise? Is <clears throat> what do you mean issues like like this? uh, <clears throat> you know why don't they get traction? But, I mean, I mean, obviously they're, they're rear wheel drive and you know they're not four wheel drive. Yeah, I mean, it just comes down to like tire combo and suspension and stuff like that. Because I or, usually see like C7s. Mm-hmm. C6s, they run like a small tire. Yep. Um, we've had really good luck, you know, with the 18s. It's the biggest tire you can get with the right tire height. It just depends on the combination. Mm. Um, you know, with the, like the C6Z06s and the base C6s, they have different gear ratios in the trans com compared to like a, uh, a ZR1. Yeah. So depending on the combo in the car, um, you know, we'll change the tire, you know, accordingly. But um I feel like they hook really well for me, you know, for real, being only two wheel drive, you know, but um, well, just has to be the right tires. Well, earlier you said that um, when you're <clears> at the track, it <throat> doesn't, it doesn't really hook that great. Did I say that? Yeah. I'm, man, I'm sorry. I don't know why. What I, I guess what I meant is they're, they're like, a, I think we were talking about the ZR1. Yeah. And launching those things with the, they have a 229 first gear with a 342 rear. They're really hard to get out of the hole. Mm -hmm. Once you're out, it's no problem. Okay. But it's just, you know, uh, if you can get a clutch that you can slip and get out of the hole, it's the best way to, to launch them rather than sidestepping it because I broke a lot of shit doing that. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, depending on the clutch too, I mean, if it's a real aggressive clutch, it'll snap shit a lot easier yeah. than, you know, one that you can slip. So. What about the gearing in the ZR1 is very beneficial for roll racing, that right? I mean. What is it, one shift? Yeah, but the thing is, you know, like with that draggy that we posted, that was one gear, but the car's actually quicker taking off in second, you know. Um, it's just a matter of, it's just too inconsistent, you know. It does spin a lot more in second, more so than not. So, um, like I said, we like to, we don't like to use the traction. We would like to, to get it to hook the best that we can without it. And then turn the traction on in case, you know. Danny hates surface. traction control. Yeah. So when we first started using it, hey, turn it down, make it less aggressive. Yeah. Traction control it, it is just slows a replacement for lack yeah. of traction. Yeah. Exactly. So, but um, like I said, I mean, I guess, you know, 
depending on the combination and, and, and what car, the tire, the tire and uh, the mag ride works really well. Like on these cars, anything that has a mag ride, I seem, I think they work really well. Really? Um, the pavement helps a lot too. They yeah, can do get much better on concrete than they do on asphalt. Way better mm -hmm. on concrete, yeah. So. What about you um, as far as the tires? I've, like I've tried every tire there is known to man, all the way up to a 30, all the way down to a 26, and the three, three, 345, 35, 18? Yep. yep. Nothing can beat it. Yep. I mean, my fastest draggies were always on an ET Street SS, which everybody thinks is a terrible tire, but it, it works. It just only lasted two weeks. Mm. Yeah. That may have been me too. But I went to a 30-inch tire, which almost killed me because um, we had to go skinnier because I got, I got little hips. Um, but it seemed like, you know, from the drag racing world, bigger, you know, bigger sidewalls always better. Yeah. But when it comes to the street, you know, roll racing stuff, it seems like the sidewall doesn't matter at all. Hmm. Um, the because I've seen some C7s with like the thick ass tires, like I know, but you don't see I them go we'll, any faster than the guys with the skinny, with the small tires, really. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just because everybody thinks the drag race world, 275, 50, 15, things like that. And I tried the 15s, I did all that, I tried everything everybody told me, could not get that tire to work. Put that ET Street SS dead hooked and went 370s, 380s, 40 degrees outside, no problem. Dead hooks, perfect every time. Mm. Just doesn't last. It's got to be something with the sidewall because I actually asked Manuel. I said, you know, you used to have a ZR1. What tire? Just tell me what to use. And he said, just go get a 345, 35, 18 and try that. So I did, and it works. And that's what they have too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you had a black ZR1, right? I think so, yeah. 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 What's the eighth mile record? Are you all faster than him? What's that, brother? Were you all faster than him? No, we actually made the... Oh, actually, we went... I'm trying to think. Don't tell me he beat you. He beat me on the street. He did. Oh, you oh, never heard the end of that, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was and an off night. We, that was an I, off night, I, right? I went... I didn't realize, like... I, I that he'd be fast? Have you not watched his videos? <laughs> I took the... My buddy was like, before we went out there, I thought it was just going to be like a friendly race. When I got there, it was like kind of standoffish and ready to do this. And I didn't realize, like, one of... <laughs> One of uh, the guys that went with me, there was a friend at a time. He's not a friend. Well, he is a friend, but anyway, he was on the internet talking shit to, the, to Manuel. <laughs> so I was like, I didn't realize until afterwards. So anyway, I took the car over there um, full weight. You know, I had it 19s all the way around it. Uh, I might have had an 18 on the back, but it definitely had 19s up front, you know, full weight. And uh, I had a drag, pack, a drag pack and shit that it, they help. You know, it helps. But it was a good run. Uh, he got me by like half a car up top, so... Um, and like you said, yeah, never hear the end of it. So, um, at the track, um, you know, we were both, you know, bottom lines for the longest time. <clears throat> and we finally ran an a, a eight, 890. We did it back to back. And, uh, and that was it. That's the last time I think he. So y'all had like a little rivalry thing going for a bit. I mean. Zero I was one just, on zero one. Prime. I was just going right, right. for like the Houston at the time had the quick thirties events so we went out there just for that he was there i wasn't going to like the other car i wasn't I was, gunning for him if that's what you're asking the other car i was asking you yeah. about uh probably a week or so ago mm -hmm. the gray what's his name gray matter oh yeah gray matter you guys mm -hmm. used to go back and forth a lot too right yeah i mean uh he did want to race a few times we did we ran a few times we, we went to austin with everybody so what's that huh What'd you say? What? <laughs> fucker. You're the one but, stirring the pot, buddy. I know. Yeah, he is. Isn't it nice? But, Let's um, bring up every but, race for the past five years. But yeah, we, All right. we, we did. Race with Gus? We ran a few times. So. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But and, it seemed like for a while, there was a lot of ZR1s going after ZR1s, and yeah. a lot of people running faster passes, and yes. so... Yep. I just didn't know who was all in the mix. Uh, Austin yeah, he was doesn't one of the like ones. us for some reason. Who? Austin. Anyone that lives in Austin. Oh, mm. yeah. We probably shouldn't go there on this podcast. We will get canceled. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, we have no problem with Austin. It's just yeah. it's different some different reason, views. We, we won't just go there. It's not like about us. cars. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> just, yeah. What about Dallas? Uh, the only one, the only cars that we ran in Dallas was from Amp, from AMP. Okay, yeah. Did yeah. you win? Uh, we won the last two or three. <laughs> we lost two. <laughs> 
Um, and then it, it's probably, I don't know. Do, should we just call it even? Maybe. Is that I how we do that? I'm not keeping track, man, to be honest we, with we you. We both know I, what I happened. I just know. Should we just call it even? We can. So the le- <laughs> basically it was a stupid deal. Of you are an instigator. <laughs> one of my customers had uh, posted like a, a crown on top of a ZR1. Uh-oh. And one of the guys from AMP had messaged me saying, man, y'all are basically dumbasses for putting that. It's no big deal. Like, I didn't yeah. think it was a big deal. Um, and we had run them before. And we went one-on-one uh, against that car. And then um, he just said, hey, man, I hope y'all change shit because I know I did. You better be ready. And I'm like, that's fine. We're going for the track event. Mainly, that's what we were trying to do. But... After hours, we'll link up. I said, just make sure that, you know, you give us more than one run because he always wants to do a one and done, which is fine if, you know, you both agree on, hey, man, you know, what speed you're going from, you hit it at the same time, whatever. But it seems like <laughs> it's not it's not always Danny. I will say, you know, it might be partially, but his his people in the background, yeah. they cause a lot of... Ninety-nine percent of the time, I would agree with that. It's usually oh, background yeah. people. That's what it is. Well, for sure. The, the thing with that is, it's 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 not only them. Like like you said, it, even if it's not me, it's it's customers from here. The the other side is just as guilty, man. They're they're just as oh I mean, for sure. It's the it, it's like going back and forth. You know what yeah. I mean? But, Stupid, but um, <clears throat> people love that though. That's where it seems like I, it comes. It from. seems like that. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. love the. The shop rivalries and the yeah. racing rivalries. Well, so that's what we ended up doing. He said, hey, be ready uh, when you come down because I'm going to be ready. I, said, I told him, you know, just make sure you give us more than one run. And, and I said, with all the cars that we're going to bring, because we had planned to bring three at that time. Damn. And um, Damn, he's it. like, I don't care. He's like, eight. bring so-and-so, bring this so-and-so. He's like, bring Santa Claus. I'll be ready. I like, all right, cool. So we went and um, we, were only, we only took two cars. And we ended up, we were able to get it in, but we, we got them pretty good, yeah. It how wasn't. Was good, how good is pretty good? A couple names. of cars, two to three cars. Who'd you run? Who did we race? Yeah, name names. The AMP uh, ZR1. Yeah, six ZR1. What was the name? Whose car? The guy that owns it is Josh. Josh mm. Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, you know, there's a lot of AMP yeah. ZR1s. Yeah. I didn't know that, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've only seen that you thought, one. I'm being you honest thought you with was you. the only one to build ZR1s? No, 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 no. Oh. no. <laughs> what I mean is You're the only one building fast. That's ones. the only. Say what you mean. That's it's the okay. only. F- that's the only fast one that I know of. I know they had done some C7s, you, but it's been... Yeah. I'm not... That's he's doing this shit on purpose. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> this fucker. I'm he is the instigator. <laughs> you got to own that. No, uh, man. I mean, but I'm being honest. That's the, only, that's the only one that I knew of that was fast. It's a very fast car. Um, and, and you beat uh, it. Yeah, we beat it. Yeah. So, so they're fast. That's all I'm yeah. saying. But, yeah. So that was it, man. He, he, but he was cool about it. He said, hey, man, y'all won, you know, fair and square. He's like, uh, he actually, on the last run, the motor blew on his car. So he said he was going to regroup, go back to the drawing board. He said, just make sure you give me a run, you know, when I'm back That's together. Fair. And I said, no problem, man. So, so I know they'll be calling anytime soon, I'm sure. Maybe when? when the weather gets a little bit better. When is it anytime so, soon? Yeah, summer's the off season here. That was yeah. in March. It's too hot. What is it right now? June? So I would figure maybe in a month or so. Damn. I don't know. I don't you know. got a month or so to build a C7. No, let it cool <laughs> off a little more. It's too hot right yeah. now. So. It is. October, November. Where do I usually, uh, damn, we're going to beep it out, but where do I usually meet up at? Is there like a halfway mark or anything? Um, we'll beep the location. For, like from here, we like to meet in because they have conc- concrete and it's the tollway. 
um, or we've been going to Dallas. That's, I'd uh, really like to race in Dallas because it's like, I think it's four or five lanes under tollway. It's concrete. It's flat as hell. The grooves well, are cut like, wrong. I what? thought both those places Man. were Mexico. They cut the grooves this way instead of yeah. this way. Man, I don't know. The, the, that one road, I forget. I have to look it up. Could we go through? It's, it's money. It works. Like, you could throw pretty much anything at it. So, um, You need to text me that address. Yeah. I'll text it to you. Because mm. so. I went out there and it was dangerous. Yeah, I, I went to a, a spot before that, and it was dangerous. The car wouldn't hook, so I was, I actually switched tires, and then we went to that place, and it, it was dead hooking, and uh, kind of screwed myself because I ended up putting a taller tire on that would be normally run, which, you know, hurts us, but it is what it is. Do you Why normally is, run like a 26 or 28? Yeah, I like to run a 20, the, well, it's a, they say it's a 27. It's, it comes out to like 26, a little bit over 26 tall, so 28. Not so much with the ZO, with the ZR1 gearing because they're so long. So, yeah. But so anything tall? Why does it hurt you? Like if you run a taller tire? Um, so most of the people want to go from 60, and uh, to go from 60 in second, you would need to be in second with the 28. As to where, um, if you can get it to hook, like at that place where he's talking about, second works. No matter what tire you have, the 325 or the 345. Um, but it's, I found it easier just to leave from third. It lugs, you know, when you first hit it because you're leaving at about 3,000 RPM. Um, then you only have to shift once, yeah. too. So it seems to work well. But um, like I said, if you can get second to work, it is, it is quicker, definitely, you know. But it's just not very consistent. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so here at Lethal Performance, y'all don't just build Corvettes, right? No, not at touch, all, Y'all touch on Dodge and Mustang. Mm -hmm. Dodge, we do a lot of, we do Mustangs. Uh, we have a couple of Vipers in here. Um, we do a lot of Camaros. Um, so yeah, it's not just Corvettes. We just a happen to- A lot of TRXs. Be, yeah. Damn. TRXs, uh, Hellcats, stuff like that. What about the NA Camaro stuff? Y'all did one recently that's been beating a lot of people, right? Which NA? NA Camaro. <clears throat> oh, oh, we haven't done that one yet. All Sean did was tune it, and it, it's, it just That's has headers, and, it, yeah, and it's running. But it's fast. But it's pretty fast, yeah. It's an LT. Uh, we're fixing to do heads and cam on that one. And, uh, I mean, they're <laughs> gonna, you're going to know. Was, yeah. But, I mean, that one cam should only. be pretty fast. Cam only. Cam only. It's unfortunately the only hope that the GM guys have now, because boost for boost, you know, coyotes kind of get us. Yeah. But NA... Any coyote can get a business. Yeah. Won't happen. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think you're right. I haven't seen an NA coyote I, run I'm, anywhere. I haven't Not seen a real high horsepower in a NA Camaros. Uh, there's a couple here in town. I don't know who owns them, but they're pretty fast. If it's truly NA, they're, they're very, very fast, man. So The Camaros or the Mustangs? No, the coyotes. So. <laughs> You see, he says no, but they are. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends. Cause, Unless cause they're fast spring, is relative. I mean, yeah. You know, but, but an NA, you know, five second, eighth mile NA Camaro is not, not abnormal anymore. Yeah. You know, because of the LT. There you go. Mm. They have some LS3 ones before everybody freaks out. You know, GPI did it, but these, these are, <clears> you know, <throat> like mostly stock bottom end cars. And they'll run 590s, 580s on the stock bottom end. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty crazy. <clears throat> yeah. I don't I see a coyote doing that. Platform. Yeah, they're impressive. But so, what's like your go-to shock for it? I mean, we've been using. Oh, yeah, I keep it with the factory uh, mag ride. It, 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 it depends. If it has a factory mag ride, we've just been using those. They work, you know, like I said, really well. Um, aftermarket, the Vikings or the Mensers. Uh, the Mensers are just really pricey. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking high as shit. Yep. The frame Number on the ZR1, is it? Is it the same as the Z06? Or? Yes. Yeah. So it's aluminum? They're aluminum. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. What are your thoughts on the C8, man, when it first came out? I mean, I like them. I just, there's not a whole lot you can do to them, man. So I really don't, I mean, I'll be honest. I don't like them, like them that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's be honest. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. They're fun to drive, I, but yeah. <laughs> they're it, just... Not fast. For what, we, for what we normally do, it's not fast, uh, like Sean said. I mean, we've done a couple twin turbo kits on stuff and uh, superchargers on them. Really? And they, yeah. And they, they're, they're pretty cool, man. It's just... Not even the Z06 or the... I mean, it's a lot of money for something. And the consistent know. transmission failures. Yeah. 
on almost every one of them. Yeah. I think yeah, that's so what the C8 you. lacks the most is the trans. Yeah. yeah. I had a little Audi A5 and I went to drive a C8 up an incline to get into my shop. And you just feel how terrible that transmission is trying to go up that. And then I get in my Audi and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Like how much better this little, you know, cheap car is versus this C8. I, I feel like they could have did a lot better. Yeah. So that. And then when you have on the dyno and it says transmission overheat, please let transmission pull over and let transmission yeah. pull off. Damn. I think once they figure all that out though, for the, for the setup on, I mean, you see what the E-Ray is doing. I don't know if you saw the, I think, Boost District. They have an yeah, E-Ray. Yeah, that, that, thing is, that thing is moving. Yeah, yeah. That little four-wheel drive deal. So, I mean, I think yeah. that's going to be something really cool. But Don't they, don't Boost District have the 10-speed uh, the in the SS? The I don't know if they're the ones speed? that did it or not. It, possible. Possible. I know there is an SS with that. Yeah, it's a red one. But, but I, I think the C8 chassis is a cool idea. I don't know if you agree with that. I think like the concept is good. The traction will be good once everything's sorted out. But yeah. say you wanna make 700 horsepower, you gotta do axles, cause they're terrible. You gotta build the motor. Maybe not, but for a customer, you're gonna build the motor. The rods yeah. aren't that strong in those. It's just, there's so much that you have to do to it just to make that kind of power. It's really hard to be excited about it right now. Yeah. Did you open them up? No. Have you, or? Seen them online. Oh. That was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All I needed. <laughs> when you're bending rods with six pounds of boost, I mean. It's the same rods as the, uh, as the LT1. The LT2 rod, LT1 rod, same thing. Is it? The injector diameter is different, though. GPI called that out for people. The, the actual diameter of the nozzle where it goes into the cylinder head is different. Oh, yeah. I saw well, that's that. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. A little tidbit since nobody saw that. But... Hmm. I think it's going to be cool. I think F Fuel Tech said they have control of the trans too. Damn. So I asked to buy a harness, but they weren't available. But they said they have control of it. If you have control of the trans, I think the chassis is going to be really cool. Yeah. But as you can see here, it'll be 2042 before Danny decides <laughs> to mess with one. <laughs> He'll be big dog in C7 while the C8's that, coming man. around. Trust me, it's not, yeah. Yeah, Danny got customers for days from the C6s, yeah. man. Yeah. You got customers for days. When you got the fastest C6 ZR1 yeah. in, the, in the country, you got to have them. Hell yeah. I think I'm going to get one. Shots fired. That's not a shot. That, that's, I stand by that. I haven't seen one faster yet. If anybody does, on we'll pull up. They'll pull up either way. On the street. On the street. On that's the street. what I mean. Yeah. Because the track, Greg, Greg. Yeah, of course. Well, that, uh, Watch, Greg's right. gonna come pull up out here now. <laughs> like, let's get it on the street. Let's get on the street. You'd be surprised how they run up there versus here. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit of a difference just because of the weather. But oh, the weather? Yeah, yeah. yeah they got that good weather. Yeah. But Damn. he has a manufacturing facility, so he'll build something. <laughs> you know, he will. you like new <laughs> control arms by Greg, Greg yeah. Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Any um, most of your CR, uh, ZR1s are they on the? Uh, Factory ECU or aftermarket? Um, most of them are on factory. We do have a, quite a few on uh, Pro EFI. Yeah. Hmm. So. Anything else different, like um, like why you use Pro EFI versus like any other ones? Um, that kit is probably for the for the price point, and it's a very easy kit to install. Like it's it's a very quick kit. You know, if if you wanted to go with the factory stuff, like return it back to stock, it's Probably less than an hour, you can turn it Five back to Five bar map sensor, yeah. wide bands yeah, it, for closed loop fueling, traction control, just the little things like that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the ZR1, the factory you see likes to, it doesn't like to see over what, 24 pounds or something? 22. 22. Yeah, 22. Yeah. Is that on GM? I got more than or 24. That, but yeah, that's how a lot of our, yeah. Like yeah. the CTSV is like 22 pounds and yeah. we're just like, we're playing off somewhere over here. I know the truck's the same shit. Uh, damn. What about, um, do they have, yeah, I don't know if they do, but uh, do they have rolling anti-lag on this shit? From the factory? Yeah, no, 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 no. On, do they offer that the on? Probably if I, yeah, you, you could set it up. And damn. You don't need it on a but, positive yeah, displacement yeah. blower. Yeah, so yeah. It hits, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, so with, if like they went turbo, turbo, yeah, turbo, yeah. Yes. Damn, yeah. sick. 
It's sad. This, the, the BMW stuff makes me feel like I'm starting to hate GM a little bit. Oh, my God. You know why? Because all that's factory. Really? What is GM doing? Yeah, rolling anti-lag, cruise control button, four different map switches, trash control, all-wheel drive. Wow. Like, how, how, how are they doing that? We don't have any of this stuff. We just German got engineering bands. versus... Stop. <laughs> it's... Cheap. A car built in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> but they're charging, you know, this much money for it. Yeah. I just thought that was the craziest thing, because if you look, and you worked for GM, so you can attest to this, every one of those raggly little V6s had widebands, didn't it? Yep. Every yeah. one of them. They've, so they've had wideband closed loop control forever. And they didn't in the start early using 2000s. it until the C8. And the C8, they finally, on a performance car, they finally added widebands. Like, <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. Coyotes had it. Coyotes, as soon as they come out, they had wideband, right? Even the Mopar Colt has them. But none of them have good flex fuel, so at least we have that. We'll hold on to that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have the best flex fuel. Our flex yeah. fuel is. What about for fuel wise? Y'all, y'all just keep it on the 85 or y'all change it up to like. Most of them are 85 just because it's cheap, you know? But yeah, they are flex. Uh, mm-hmm. Just because you don't know what, from station to station, what the content's gonna be. So, yeah. But yeah, if on all of our stuff, the boosted ones, we like to run the 85. Yep. Damn. Is the Magride different on the ZR1 than the, uh, than the Z06? Or Z06 have Magride? I don't think they do. Uh, have. Some of the Z06s do have the Magride, but it's the same. Same? Yeah. 30Zs have it? 30Z? Um, I know like the Centennials, um, those had the Magride. Um, there wasn't very many Z06s that had it, but they, they do. They do. Mm. Well, you know, Justin, from working for GM, that all this stuff is trickle down Cadillac technology. That's right, baby. Cadillac gets all the cool stuff first, and then it trickles Cadillac's down to the, the rest of the groups. Bro, you said, you right said BMW is the best. No, 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 no. I said BMW is embarrassing us with what they oh. have available mm-hmm. factory. They said These, the they're having to put Pro EFI on a car to get features that come factory. Yeah. That's sad. GM should have that. But that you're talking about a car that's like 2009 versus 2023. C7s don't have it either. Yeah, but oh, does fuck. GM really make a performance turbo car that would need anti-lag? You're saying Cobalt's ain't performance? <laughs> Cobalt community? They're gonna cancel Did Cobalt, y'all. oh yeah, Cobalt's Be careful, man, He's, there's Cobalt people. The ATSVs? Yes, but I'd be willing to bet it was a very small ATSV? turbo that had no uh, lag. ATSV, ATSV yes. titanium rods, I remember ATSVs. V6, no wide bands. Yeah, Why? that's true. You tune ATSV? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I thought, you didn't tune, uh, what's his name? They're We're not talking about it. <laughs> No, no, Aiden's no. Uh, that was Justin Schmidt. He does a lot of the ATSV stuff. Mm. I just, it's a, come at me if you want, I don't care. ATSV people are super weird. <laughs> I told Aiden that when he got it, and he's like, he's like, no, man, it's cool. I'm like, no, dude, they're, they're a strange crowd. They're like, your yep. V8 suck. And I'm like, bro, your fastest car run like an 890. Stop it. Because yeah. they don't realize that, they're like, we just got a tune and only this. I'm like, you have turbos, you turned them up. Yeah. So your tune is us putting pulleys. Yeah. And then we're light years <laughs> ahead of you. So they're, they're strange people. I know I'm going to get attacked for that, and I don't really care. Yeah. ATSV people, they, 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 what do they do? Like they down go pipes? out and they like stand on their campers at the races and make like a V with their cars, and they're like, ATS club. <laughs> Are you serious? It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. So unfortunately, I just couldn't get part of that trend. I do think it's a cool V6, but like by 750, you're tapped out. You're done. Yeah. I mean, and then I guess you can do big, big turbo, you know, maybe billet blockers. I don't really know. I don't keep up with it, but the people ruined it for me. God damn. The V8 suck people. Like, yeah. Stop it. Yeah. We can put turbos too. Yeah. We're just significantly faster when we do. So what do they do? Downpipe and some shit, something else, right? I don't know. Not some part of that club. shit, yeah. You're about to name I don't subscribe to that club. I don't subscribe. <laughs> Again, it's got its impressive moments, but why would GM put wide bands on every other V6 and every other four cylinder and not on that car? They don't want you to go fast. I don't I don't really know what the reason. I think it was just being cheap, but yeah. yeah. It's just it's just weird. Like you would think that they would have had that. That's what happens when the penny pinchers get involved though. Oh, it was just crazy. And advice somebody that wants to open up a shop. 
or uh, don't do don't. it. Oh fuck! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you like to I'll work do. long hours for low money? And nobody understands what stuff. Do you like anymore? your phone yeah. to blow up twenty four seven? Who? You have any other employees? Yeah, we have eight other guys, um, and then uh, two in the office, run the office. Does uh, what's his name? Jack Hadler still work here? No, Jack doesn't. He works for Ford. How do you know Jack? LS One Tech. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah he uh, was... he used to uh, LS One Tech still around? He used to work here. Yeah. Um, I, I missed that generation. Man, I'm trying to remember how long he worked for us. Five it's or six years, probably. Time. He worked for us, and then, but he's working at Ford now. Yeah. So, yeah. He'll text me every now and again still. So, yeah. Nice. But so you wouldn't, rec- you wouldn't recommend anybody to start, open up a shop? Man, I mean, I don't regret it. You know, we talk about it all the time. Um, I have a few friends and one in the military, they're out, they're retired and they're doing this for fun. That's what I would do if I could do it all over again, you know. Um, it's, I guess, then that's, I, I almost turned my, my, uh, my hobby into work, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's where, um, it's just very stressful, man. You know, it's a lot to keep up with. Like, uh, you know, like you said, phone calls day in and day out. Um, you don't really have a day off, you know. You're, you meet, you have to meet customers here. You don't have to, but you know, still meet customers here on the weekends, you know. To they have busy schedules, you know, to to accommodate them. Um, like I said, uh, if someone really wants to, then yeah, dig into it. I mean, it's it's definitely there's definitely a lot of business out there. People always want to mod their cars, um, but I, it's not. I don't regret it. Been There's, doing it for years, and I can't turn it back. But um, I've made a good living doing it. So, um, oh yeah, it's definitely not a get rich deal. I yeah. mean, unless you're maybe manufacturing your own parts, stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, that's about it. Well, and it seems like the government overreach is getting worse. The EPA, the tree huggers, and all that. It's, yeah. You know, how much longer are we going to really be able to do this before it gets really, really bad and they start throwing people in jail for, yeah, I mean, this isn't it. California, but you know, but still they're already doing it. That's yeah. what I always said. People are like, Oh, is your son, your son's going to take over after you. I'm like, I don't think there will be. Yeah. I, I don't, I think don't know how much anymore. longer yeah. this is going to last. That's what scares me. I mean, yeah. that's true. Yeah. They're going to be uh, modern Tesla's. That's a real thing. That's coming. Yep. Yeah, I, I I'm got a dimmer switch from Home Depot. I just turn it all the way up. <laughs> there's, there's, there's tuning for the electric stuff. I know. Really? It's, it's oh, out yeah. there. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's already for the motors. There's timing for, them. for the motors. Yeah, they, they have. That's pretty bad. Once, once people get into that, that that's going to be a, it's not going to be fun to watch at all. No. But it'll be fun to do it. You like, might not have to wear earphones on the dyno anymore. I guess you're probably gonna have to have like a radiation suit or something, <laughs> like all the EMF going around. Yeah, yeah. forget. But I, I think you know, there's actually I, I'm a firm believer there's going to be a market for it. They're already there doing will be. swaps. Uh, I think Holly already said they had uh, a controller for the Tesla motor. Damn. So it's coming, but I don't know if a lot of people are going to really want part in that or not. Some of the nerd people will, like, you know, people that just like to tinker with stuff. Yeah. I guess I'm calling myself a nerd. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, I just don't know how fun it'll be and profitable. Like, who's going to go to the track? Oh, Tesla and Tesla. Oh, he's got his seats out. He's going to win. No, nah, Tesla versus ER1. What are you talking about? If they're around. Yeah. You know he'll still be building them. Yeah. I ain't never seen never, this. I've never seen this many ZR1s in one place before. I thought that was really cool. Z06s, yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you what, we appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. We appreciate you, Justin, for stopping by. He doesn't, but it's okay. <laughs> I, will, Sorry, I will let you know on the full video, I promise, after it gets edited. Yeah. I'll send it to you. You know, I appreciate your time as well. Appreciate everybody who's came out. Thank All you. the audience, you know. And that train. 
But, and appreciate the train. He's sorry our air conditioner in here is broken. Yeah. Guys, it's, we're it's if, I mean if you're in Texas, fuck, it's hot as shit. So <laughs> what hot. was it? One oh seven. It's Today? hotter here than it is in Houston. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was pretty bad in Houston. Yeah, I'm ready to go back to my island. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, Justin, thank you for thank you for being the host. You know, I think you did great. I think you did awesome. You Better will see last him. Time. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but um, you will see him again because uh, we got in Orlando, right? If we don't go to jail. <laughs> Aiden, keep that bail money. Uh, <laughs> we might need it. Uh, keep the TikTok money ready. No. Nah. <laughs> Are you going to ride with us? Yeah, I'm recording. We're going to film it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have one of those $5,000 cameras with me. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, it'll be, be good. fun. Yeah. Then so, he's going to try to be doing Tesla tuning. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That sounds like a niche. Have you ridden one? A niche. No. A plat? Never? Have you? Mm hmm. Have you? I haven't read in one, but I've it's a weird feeling, it. right? It is very weird. It's uh, it's it's like a roller coaster kind of because you're just like, if you don't hear shit, it just. And when you, know. you feel it, you're just like you're like the first time for me, I was kind of confused. I'm like, what, what was that? Just yeah. make sure when you get in and you put it in the emissions testing mode. You'll thank me later. Hmm. We're going to jail. <laughs> No, the emissions testing mode money. makes it make fart noises out the speakers. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to play with all that. Right now. Yeah. Well, we will be in Orlando again doing, um, fuck, I'm not even going to say it, but yeah. You're not going to tell them? Yeah, we, we're going to be doing Titan Motorsports. Oh, cats out of the bag. Yeah. The OG OGs. Nice. Yeah. Titan Motorsports in nice. Orlando, that's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys so much. Thank, Thank you, you again. Thank you. Enjoyed Thank you. it. Peace.